Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over some of the best budget beasts in Madden 22 right now, guys. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, before you get into this video, hit that subscribe button, turn this nutty bell, give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And of course, if you guys do want to check out Underdog Fantasy, guys, super cool daily fantasy app all you got to do is use my code link down below to get up to a free 100 bucks on your first deposit and of course guys that's just super easy free cash if you guys only do one dollar slates you pretty much can go ahead and play up to 100 free games off of this code and that pretty much means you can do pretty much every thursday night and monday night football game for the rest of the year for pretty much free so make sure you guys do check that out super awesome code link down below as well as if you need some muck coins pick up some of these budget players that will be down below as well but guys let's get into this guys so these are in no specific order these are some of the best budgety cards in the game so let's start with jamar chase blitz 92 overall this card does go for what is it right now he goes for around like where is the pricing on this 93k in the corner so 93k anything below 100k to me is pretty much just a budgety player 93k is so easy to get in this game with the way you know solos are and the way you can get all this free stuff jamar chase blitz 92 overall similar to his first card he's gonna be really fast with a lot of card with a lot of stats that you can really make do with so the, the beauty of this card is if you power him up right on a budget squad you're going to look at about a 94 speed with 95 excel that's going to be some top tier speed he gets 96 jumping which makes him an elite elite deep threat in general above 90 catch and traffic you'll get you'll get 92 spec and if you have the right track cards on him you can also get the 90 medium route running as well as above 90 spec already 91 change of direction he'll get 90 juke powered up already 92 spin great carrying great break tackle overall this card is going to be a great a great card his traits aggressive catch yes covers the ball brace for all hits that's important fights for extra yards high motor makes sideline catches rack catches obviously this card is going to be a really really good player this guy overall can just go ahead and do pretty much everything for you he's not going to be your slant probably slant or in receiver unless you have a strat card on him that gets his medium to 90 but if you can get a strat card up guys he'll be a mid tier to high like a, a mid level to high level player that can just pretty much do everything on the field that you need for him outside of like the short game and he's gonna be super fast at 94 speed 95 excel he has pretty decent height six feet tall so he's not like too tiny he has some good decent weight 201 the car can just do just about everything, and he's great with the ball in his hands, which is super important for a lot of people who do need a guy who can do stuff like that. Because it sucks when you have those speedy receivers that have no juke, no spin, no um, no change of direction. Pretty much, you got to throw them the ball and hope they just catch it and make a play there. Otherwise, you're pretty much getting tackled. Jamar Chase can catch a ball and take it to the house with a few moves. He can actually do a quick spin off and in. You know what I mean? Like that's important to a lot of the way play people play this game. Next, as we have Derwin James, this card's an absolute stud for the price. Now, he did go up a little bit. He is 91K now. It was a time, guys, when when Blitz first dropped. I bought like five of these for like 60K because they were just so cheap. I knew he was going to be a steal. This card's an absolute beast for the price. You're getting a top tier safety rate. 93 speed, 92 excel for under 100K. It's just hard to get a safety, especially with these stats too. 89 change of direction, 92 jumping. Mind you, he's 6'2, 215. He gets 92 zone, 88 press. As well as 70 catch, which is decent, 92 hit power, 92 pursuit, 84 block shed, 87 impact blocking. So he's going to be pretty decent in the run game, as well as really good at zone, really fast. Going to be pretty pretty good hands, you know what I mean? Like decent hands for safety. He's a big hitter, uh, high motor, it's really good aggressive, plays ball in the air. Now, if you power up this card, guys, his press will get up to an 89. Again, with the red track card, you get up to a 90. His man's an 85, so he's going to be super He's gonna be super good at just about everything. He's going to be well-rounded all around. He can play man, he can play zone, he can pretty much press. Has great hit power in terms of what you're gonna, what you're looking for above 90. And has a decent spot in the run game in terms of shedding off blocks and really just picking up a picking up a blocker and trying to get around him, right? Darwin James will be really good. Now, that's a safety and a wide receiver. I've given you guys an outside. Move it over to cornerback. Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward's another great one. And the beauty of him, he's free. He goes for 110k right now, but if you will play your Harvest Souls, you can actually get him for free, so make sure you check that out. 93 speed corner, 94 excel, 91 agility, 93 change of direction, 92 jumping, 87 play rack, 5'11", 92 man coverage, 90 zone, 91 press. No run game. 75 hit power is actually pretty decent for a corner, you know, unless you get a top tier corner, like a one of those corners like Rob Woodson with like the duel where they can like also hit. 75 hit power is pretty decent. That still means that you can come off the edge and lay a boom with him, uh, you know, on a regular wide receiver. Like Hollywood Brown, you know, one of those smaller wide receivers, Tyree Kill, you hit him with a hit power like that and you still can force a fumble. The guy doesn't have too much power. You'll probably get destroyed by Bo and some backs, but 
you, you more or less know, like when they do a wide receiver screen, you crack them with the corner like Dion, and they just bounce off Dion. He will be able to actually lay a boom on you know smaller receivers. But the beauty of him is powered up 94 speed, 95 excel with all 90 coverage stats. You really just can't argue that for free so make sure you guys do go do it and you can also power up that will actually be the part that costs more money you're looking at around 14k 12k right now for the power up plus however much training it costs to actually upgrade him but this card's really good he's free next has perry nickerson similar to the whole thing with um with denzel ward now if you can't get denzel ward for free for whatever reason he's 95k again which is going to be pretty expensive in comparison to being free but 93 speed, 93 excel. Again, if you power up 94 excel, 94 speed. If you don't want to get Perry Nickerson, I mean, if you don't want to get Denzel Ward or you have a Vikings team team, he's only going to have 87 man, 86 zone, 86 uh, six press. But he does get, of course, you know, that just crazy good speed, 94 speed, 94 excel. Now, I think Denzel Ward's better. But this is like if you already use your free players, you can't get Ward. Hopefully, you did end up taking Denzel Ward. Now, he's actually cheaper on PS4. On PS5, yes, he's 80k. And on PC, he's only 60k. A bit more expensive on Xbox for whatever reason. Next has Janoris Jenkins, just some great corners. He did just come out with the last flashback release. Another corner that's going to get all 90 man zone and press, as well as good pursuit, good tackle. And he's going to be 93 speed, 92 excel. Again, I think Ward and Nickerson, I think Ward's better. Nickerson's probably last in these things. But again, another good corner that's still under 100K. That's actually pretty good. 5 foot 10, 190. I still think Ward's the best one. But again, he is a free card. And some people may have already taken their free cards. Which in which case, you guys, for the price, 110K, I still rather Ward over all of them. These are some decent lower end cornerbacks that you can go ahead and choose. Next, we have Kadarius Tony. Again, another guy you can get for free from playing through your weekly wildcard Wednesday solos. He's really good. He gets slot-o-matic, I believe, at a cheap AP because he is a slot receiver. And he does just about what you want to be done right. He gets 93 speed, 92 excel, powered up. That's great. He gets 89 catch and traffic, 88 catch, but he will get the short route running threshold. And again, 89 medium and 89 deep. So if you have like a go deep uh, card or something like that, if you have anything that gives a medium or deep, just plus one, he will get another threshold. As well as, again, the beauty of this card is the slot receiver. Put him in the slot. Give him slot automatic, give him slot apprentice, give him whatever you want for cheap AP. You only 60k if you don't have the free one, which is also very cheap. And you go ahead and get a 92 juke, 93 change of direction powered up. So he'll have he'll be great with the ball in his hands, great for RPOs, great for screens. You can power him up, of course, with a 93 speed. And Tony's just he's just fun to play with. I mean, it's gonna be a fun card, super cheap, and he's a slot receiver, which means that he will get all the AP stuff for a lot cheaper than other cards. Greedy Williams, also another free option if you do go ahead and take one of those guys. Now, if you go, if you go take Tony or you take Greedy, you can't take the other. But Greedy Williams, what's good about him? Six foot two, <laughs> big body corner, which is super important. He gets 93 speed powered up and 92 excel, so he's gonna be super fast. 91 change of direction powered up, 90 jumping, 89 agility, but he gets 90 zone and man. And again, with the right card, he will get that 90 press as well. He just gets great man press and zone. At six foot two with 93 speed, just another Browns cornerbacks just great for Madden and in, in franchise and Madden. Just like they're great. They've been great. Greedy, Newsome, and Denzel Ward, just a trio and a half in terms of Madden. But yeah, there's another free card, another guy that you can really utilize if you use them properly and you know how to go ahead and get them. Again, he's free, but if, they, if, you, if you don't get the free one right, you only you want to get both of them, you can go ahead and just buy one of the other. He's 67K, so maybe take Greedy for free and then just buy Tony. He's a little bit cheaper. On PS5, they're around the same price. On PC, Greedy is significantly more expensive. And on Xbox, he's 7K more expensive. Finally, guys, Fabio Moreau, another great cornerback. These are just my top budget guys right now, like in terms of those receivers and stuff. I don't see many other budget guys in some other categories right now in terms of getting high speed for under 100K price. That's kind of what I filter by for this. Uh, Fabian Moreau, another guy, like I said before, just good speed, good excel. He's only going to be 25K. So this is budgety, budgety. Like this is your third corner, right? Let's say you get greedy for free. And you get Ward for free, but you need a third corner. You don't want to pay for Janoris or Perry Nickerson. Fabian Moreau is going to be a good third corner, fourth corner. He can get he will get 93 speed, 94 so out of like that slot with an 89 zone. Now again with the right track card, you can get him to a 90 zone with great speed. His man and press are a bit lower, but he is only an 88 overall. So this is what I'm saying. Like this isn't going to be comparable to the other guy's stats, but the fact that he can get you know all in the 80s coverage and potentially 90 zone as well as having the speed with six foot six foot height you know he's still really good and only 25k so that's the, that's the other thing you have to factor in price to this so although you know perry nickerson 95k you're getting a guy also in the 80 coverage who actually could get the 90 zone at a much cheaper price so again i would recommend like i said greedy williams denzel ward is your free guys and then you go ahead and put fabian moreau as your third corner and then bypass norris perry but those guys are there in case the other guys didn't fit the scheme right like in case you couldn't take a free Denzel award and you want to keep it a bit cheaper. Or let's say you have a Rams Giants team team. So Janoris actually fits better. 
and so on and so forth guys but that does wrap up today's budget piece video if you guys have any questions or want to add some budget piece players down below comment them down below to help some people out but yeah thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day hit that sub button turn the noti bell like the video thanks for watching i'm out peace